This is the story of how a rigging company called Tway made a great museum even better. And it all started with the development of these, shade sails. Yeah, shade sails. Try to say that three times fast. Okay, well, I'll try it while patting your head and rubbing your stomach. All right, first, the cable is put into a splicing vise with a galvanized spelter socket manufactured by Crosby. It's measured and then has a hose clamp put in place. Then starts the brooming process, where each strand of cable is separated and adjusted to the appropriate length in order to create a cavity for the wire lock, which in turn secures the socket to the cables. The cable is then cleaned, stripping away any grease lubrication from the core. The spelter socket is slid into place. For this project, we personally built a very special jig to hold all the cable assemblies. The wire lock is poured into the socket and goes between every strand of cable. It dries for two and a half hours, which makes it as hard as steel. Oh, uh, this is how fast a guy moves when he's told he's not getting paid by the hour, but by the project. The cables are put into the test bed and individually pull tested to 36,000 pounds of pressure. Each cable assembly is measured, tested for quality control, then coiled and ready for delivery to customer ahead of schedule. That customer? The Idle George Museum of American Indians and Western Art, one of the country's most unique museums. Special kudos to F.A. Wilhelm Construction Company and Jonathan Hess of Browning Day Mullins Deerdorf, who also designed the main building, teaming with Tway Lifting Products to make this great museum even better.